Have a nice day, everyone. In this video, I will continue to explain aircraft maintenance project plan. In the last video, I spoke about the duration here. Here, if you write integer, then H, the program converts it to hours. If D converts it to days. If M, M only converts to minutes. If M O, M O N converts to months. Look here. If I will uh, zoom here. Here. Again, 3 August until 28 October. Okay. This is for this. Okay. So this is for the duration. The units, hours, minutes, days, weeks, months. Take care and the maintenance planning data of the aircraft type or in your maintenance program, you will see the man hour of the access preparation task so and so the units are hours or fraction of hours decimal fraction 0 0.1 0 0.5 this is fraction of hours not minutes so the minutes not include here i will not use minutes here i will use hours only not days and not weeks and not months just all my units here is hours fraction hours or mixed integer and decimal of hours for this is for the duration okay this column which here i here i will zoom i if any tasks of them, these tasks, if edit, editing on work or source or anything, you will see here notification here in this cell. Here, the notification will to tell you that this task has any change in any data here, source, materials, man hours, so and so. So you must look, take care from here. If any notification comes here, look here, okay? Now we go to another thing. I will go to project here. The project here, the information. This is the information we spoke about that. Make zoom. This is the start time. I spoke about that. One date only. Start date or finish date. So you will start date. Schedule from. This is the department, you can put here, planning departments or engineering, so and so. Okay, standard, current date, status date, calendar. We spoke about calendar, calendar here. This is standard, 
or 20 hours or night shift. Okay? We spoke about 20 hours, means no need to non-working days. But if standard, you will see the working days not include Saturday and Sunday. So, if you go to option here, project, change working days here, look, this is Saturday and Sunday. This is non-working days. Look here, non-working days. The white color is working days here. Okay. If you click in here, this cell, no, hour, no working hours here. But in the working days, if I click here, look here, the working hours here from 8 o'clock in the morning until 12, then from 13 to 17. So this is for human factor. The human factor must take a rest about one hour to eat or a small break, coffee, tea, so and so. And the working hours is eight. Okay. If you go to here to option, look here. I make zoom here. The calendar option. We start days. I make change here. Monday, you can put it Saturday, Monday, so, so and so. The first year, the fixed year starts from January. Here, the fourth start time from 8 o'clock, you can change this. The fourth end time, it's 17 hours per day. 8 hours, hours per week for 40, I saw, that is human factor, not allow the technical or the engineer work more than that for human factor, maybe some errors come here in the shifts. This is the days per month, 20, so and so. Here is the I, show, show schedule missing, means some editing or some works or some ex and any work editing this task. So this is in the I. Okay, so this is the options here. We can go new task created. Make, make a tour about these options and you can make your choice. Okay, this is Okay, this is the year. If you want to view, view here. Okay, here. You will have many things here. Okay. Here resources, resource usage, like the Microsoft Office filter, sorting tables here. If you wanted to save this file, go to save as, 
and call the file and the destination, which folder you want, and then OK. OK here. But if I want save, as it is here, so now this is save the file. OK. I suggest to take a tour about this project may be useful for you in your work. I think that is enough today. Thank you very much. And I am waiting your comments and your suggestion. Thank you again and goodbye.